In this episode, I'll share the science behind why barometric changes can trigger the anxiety response. Tune in. Hello, and welcome to Momo 634, the daily podcast chock full of faith-filled inspiration and motivation. Please like, share, and subscribe. Momo 634, motivational moments just for today. In a recent episode, we explored atmospheric changes on overall mood experienced by some people. I mentioned that barometric changes can particularly impact the fight, flight, or freeze mechanism in a subset of the population, and that's our focus for this episode. When there are changes in barometric pressure, some people experience exacerbated stress levels unease, or even panic or panic-like symptoms. A study out of South Korea even correlated these pressure changes with increased emergency room visits for panic attack symptoms. Experts believe this causal link with anxiety and atmospheric shifts lies with the fact that they affect the nervous system and brain chemistry. Here are some of the major takeaways found. Increased stress response. Sudden drops in pressure can trigger the body's fight-or-flight response, which is a major contributor to feelings of anxiety. Headaches and fatigue. As mentioned in that episode on weather changes and their effect on the body, I shared that those drops also trigger migraines for me. I have an app on my phone and have been tracking barometric pressure changes for a number of years now. In fact, Many report headaches or sluggishness before storms, which, in turn, can contribute to irritability and emotional distress. Sleep disturbances and disruptions. In that same episode on weather and mood, and the one on somatic memories, I mentioned I'd been having some sleep issues over the last couple of weeks, the same period of time as these powerful storm fronts came through. Apparently, it's not uncommon for people to struggle with sleep when the pressure changes. And, of course, if you've listened to this podcast for long, you know that sleep deprivation is a key factor in a number of mood and mental health conditions, one of which is heightened anxiety after such a sleep disturbance. Studies suggest that people with existing anxiety disorders, or meteoropathy, the new word we learned in that episode on weather and mood that simply means weather sensitivity, may be more prone to these anxiety-related effects. I'm linking all these sources and the study, in addition to the recent episode on weather and mood, below this one at momo634.com. In a number of episodes, I've mentioned having a rainy day toolkit. Rainy day as in a bad day, or off day. Having it at the ready, and this goes for literal rainy days too. I'm going to be updating these toolkit items into a spreadsheet similar to our searchable episode guide so that they're all in one easy-to-find place. Meanwhile, I'll link the grounding and belly breathing episodes as they also help with anxiety. Reread those verses shared in our last episode on weather and mood from Mark chapter 4, verses 35 and following. Jesus calmed a physical storm. He can calm the storm of our fears also. If you experience weather related issues with mood, chime in below. Thanks for listening to Momo 634 motivational moments just for today. Please subscribe, give it a like or review, follow along on social media or your favorite podcast platform, and tell a friend. To have episodes and the corresponding meme emailed to you, subscribe at momo634.com. To receive bonus episodes and support this podcast, become a premium Substack subscriber.